What? All right, what's up guys? My name is Wolfie and I made a tier list. I was kind of reluctant to do this, but I said if the last video got a thousand likes, uh... <laughs> yeah, well over 2,000. That's uh, that's that's just disgusting. I'll tell you what, if you want to see me do more tier list related videos in the future, let's see if we can get another 2,000 likes on this video. So as I said, I've now made my own tier list. I've been looking across quite a few different tier lists and the trend that I'm seeing, like I said previously, is everyone seems to be able to agree on the top tier. Everyone kind of knows who the best characters are. What people can't seem to agree on is everything else. Apart from the top tier, every list I've looked at has been completely different. It's quite difficult to make an accurate tier list in this game. Everyone has their own opinions about which characters they think are good and bad. Some people think Cosmic Brains is shit. Other people think he's still really good. Everyone's got their own take on it, so no matter what you do, no matter where you place certain characters, you're gonna piss someone off. Didn't even have the glasses on. So I have no doubt that this list is gonna piss someone off. Someone is gonna see Cosmic Brains down there in the shite tier, and I'm gonna get the usual. Oh, what are you talking about, Wolf? The Cosmic Brains is not shite, you just have no idea how to play him. And look, do try and keep in mind, this tier list is just my opinion. If you disagree with my opinion, then go f that is absolutely fine. But regardless, I've made my tier list. I'm not going to go through every individual character because I will be here all fucking day. But I'm just going to go through the ones that I think need explaining. I'll also explain this really quick. I don't think it's really fair for me to rank characters that I either just don't play or just characters that I don't know shag all about them. For example, I maxed out Tennis Star, but since he got nerfed, I haven't touched him. I played Mystic Flower for one video and never used her again. And the same goes for quite a few of these characters. So I think for me, I would rather not rank the characters at all rather than putting them in the wrong tier and then suddenly there's a bounty on my head. So let's begin. The top tier is pretty self-explanatory. I kind of have two halves to top tier. There's like the top tier there and then the SS tier uh, who I just think are the best characters in the game. The only one that I really had to have a think about was Agent P. I thought for quite a while about possibly putting Agent P up there. I ultimately decided that I think he deserves to be in there. So then you got the rest of top tier. Again, it's pretty simplistic. Yes, I think Mechanic is top tier. Yes, I think Lorpy is top tier. Yes, I think Party Rose and Reg Scientist are top tier. I think Party is as good as Reg. I don't think having a couple less shots really hinders her that much. And for what it's worth, you get party time. She's a busted character. And I think Reg Scientist is slept on super hard. This guy can two shot most characters. And if it's a Citron, then boo hoo. He three shots him instead. I was tempted to not put Vampire Flower in top tier. After thinking about it, I think Vampire Flower still deserves to be up there. I don't think she's as good as Stuffy, but I think she's still like disgustingly good. I think now she's had a bit of a health buff. I think she's definitely up there. My tier is going to take a bit of explaining. I think Pops Corn is hella underrated. Yes, Pinstripe is kind of a shitty version of Colonel Corn. Have you seen how good Colonel Corn is? I think you can afford to have a shittier version of him. People sleep on Hockey Star. Probably has one of the highest DPSs in the game. And now they buffed his overheating as well. Done deal. If Bandit Cactus is a soldier with Cactus abilities, then Petrified Cactus is a scientist with Cactus abilities. You want to play Petrified Cactus up close, this guy hits like a train. Actually, such a stupid character. I think the rest of high tier is pretty self-explanatory. Maybe Tank Commander, possibly. Tank Commander is one of them ones, you don't know how good he is until you know how to use him. But if you know how to use him, you know how good he is. Also, I think Torchwood's kind of overrated. It's still pretty good, but there's gap. He gets bundled harder than the security guard from Ali G. The B tier is just like good characters. Not like disgustingly good, but they're good. This is where Hot Rod Chomper comes in. Like I said previously, I honestly don't think any Chomper ranks that high. For the most part, I think they're just gimmicky. But as a class, they are very limited and they lose a lot of matchups. I think Rhodey Z is pretty solid, but his only option is point blank. I think that's the only thing that really holds him back. I think Rhodey Z is one of them ones. It depends on what map you're playing. I think Fire and Frost Rose are still good. They're definitely not as bad as some people think they are. But they are like a clear league below the rest of them. Archaeologist and Dr. Toxic. Archaeologist is like a jack of all trades kind of character. He can do a bit of everything, but he's exceptionally good at nothing. It pains me to say it because I really like him. He is basically just a shittier version of Paleontologist. And Dr. Toxic could have been seriously good. Lack of ammo, I think, holds him back. General Supremo is a character that really frustrates me. Could have actually been top tier. But he just has a complete lack of mobility when he shoots. He actually shoots like an all-star. I think if he had the mobility of a normal soldier, he'd be top tier. C tier is just what I call decent. Like, they're not really good or bad. They're just okay. Sad Sadly, yes, barbecue corn is all the way down here. Used to be one of the best in the game and is now all the way down here. They nerfed this guy so many times, honestly. It hurts me that he is now this low. But he is still a corn. He still does fire damage. 
and he still has husk heart. I can't physically put him any lower than mid tier. I think Twilight and Count are your number two and three for Chompers. Twilight because he's faster and Count because he's actually got a really good gimmick. And if you couple it with Vampweed, it's even better. So I don't think they're as good as Hot Rod. I think they are like a step above the rest of them. Alien Flower seems to be a character nobody can agree on. Alien Flower is not bad. She's definitely not as bad as people think she is. But I don't think she has a lot of uses outside of turf. She's dangerous in turf, don't get me wrong. But you start trying to take her into other game modes and it's a bit like, eh, it just doesn't really work. Tiberius Toaster, if he could attack in midair, I'd put him higher. That's pretty much the only reason. See, I haven't actually ranked a lot of Cacti because I barely play them. Apparently I spelled usable wrong. I think Jade Cactus is a lot of fun. Definitely one of my favorite Cacti. I just think for a Cactus, she's quite inaccurate. I think she's usable, but I don't think she's anything special. Yeah, this is where a lot of the Chompers start coming in. I did put all the Spray Chompers a bit lower because I don't really rate them. I think Spray Chompers are kind of crap. I give Chomp Thing the benefit of the doubt just because of his gimmick. I think that could be quite helpful for him. When they did the whole Citron rework, basically half of them got buffed, half of them got nerfed. Unfortunately, Toxic and Electro got nerfed. And I don't just mean like got nerfed, I mean they got fucking butchered. Toxic went from high tier to low tier and Electro managed to go from god tier to being completely useless. I don't know how they even managed that. Captain Squawk, I know this one's gonna be a storm in a teacup. I like the idea of him, but his damage output is too slow and the flamethrower isn't good enough. That being said, he's still a pirate, so he's still got some good tools. And I will say, I think Captain Squawk is quite good for soil. Outside of that, I think he sucks. And then absolute bottom of the barrel, you have Cosmic. And I still stand by that. If you could charge a punch in midair, I'd put him a couple of tiers up straight away. I know some people are gonna go, well, actually you can charge it in midair. You're not actually supposed to. You go in multiplayer and you can actually charge a punch in midair. That's just lag. It's like how you're not supposed to be able to burrow people when they're 20 feet in the fucking air. Anyway. That is my tier list. Like I said, I just thought I'd go over and explain the ones that I thought people would be a bit iffy about. I will now be avoiding the comment section like a plague. Can we smash like? And can we subscribe as well? Good night.